time I've been catching my daughters in kind of these in-between moments and this is a work that goes back to that she was waiting for the party to start. I've been thinking about the moments where we define ourselves or the moments where we're really ourselves is kind of these in-between moments where we're quiet and I can never see what's in their heads but I know there's a lot going on. On New Year's Eve last year, we were getting together with our friends. My daughter was waiting on the chair for the party to begin, all the kind of excitement going on around her, and then she sat down just to wait. And I think about these in-between moments where we're thinking about something that happened or something that's about to happen. A lot of my work recently has been called after the something or waiting for something. I think those moments are somehow significant psychologically what's going on. This painting is called Waiting for the Party to Begin. So this is one canvas that's part of an eight by 10 foot painting called After the Night Out. And there's three figures that are in it, but this little section, I work on it in pieces and sometimes I have to put it back down on the easel. This is nice because you can see some of the clues here about what's going on in the scene. It's a little more narrative and yet at the same time, it's again that moment where there's an in-between moment where thoughts and memories are circulating in their, in their minds. A lot of these works are actually about celebration and fun things that happened with the backdrop of in the world at the time during the pandemic not a lot of fun happening also a lot of these works are how we as young humans are very connected with who we become and that life as a child is very serious they take their life as serious as all of us grown-ups take our lives i think we all remember times where we were feeling like our life and the grown-up world around us was disconnected, but that felt unfair. It was just as important as theirs was, really, and it was mimicking their world. It was imagination play that was preparing us for the next part of life and who we really are today. There's this place in my house at the top of the steps where the girls come and talk to me about something or wait for me to talk to them about something. So this is called At the Top of the Steps. In this one, my daughter was about five and recently I spotted her at the top of the steps again, waiting to talk to me, looking off into the distance somewhere in her mind, waiting to say something important to me. And so um, actually I'm gonna do that painting as well. But the other thing about this work is the outfit that she has on was invented pieces of clothing. And I remember this too as a young girl, and I see this with my three daughters, they piece together clothing in a way that they're covering their body or they're decorating their body. Their relationship with their world and their body actually probably like developmentally a little bit uncertain. At first when you're a small child, you actually, I think they've discovered that you're very connected psychologically with your mom. And then there's that moment where you notice that you're somebody different than your parents. Then you have that separation anxiety. I think like I watched them grow and their relationship with their flesh and their frame. This is a shirt that she tied around her waist and then this kind of partially covering top, and she's pre-adolescent, so it doesn't matter really how much she's covered. And I just think that that's a really beautiful thing about young humans, that we're very comfortable in our flesh. This piece is entitled The Exchange, and it's inspired by several photographs I took in quick sequence at that same New Year's Eve party last year. The grown-ups were all having their own party and the kids used the resources around them 
which were the poppers and the balloons. And there was this strange exchange happening out of the closet. It was like inventing money or inventing a value system. I see that so often in imaginative play with my girls and their friends. They made their own economy there at the party. And it was made out of this junk. Inside the balloons, some of them had coins and they would go to the closet and exchange it for other things that they wanted. She was the guardian over the situation that looked back out at me and noticed that we noticed what they were doing. This painting is called The Exchange. I often think back to historical paintings and it also reminded me a little bit of Guernica. There were fireworks in the background, there was this baby that it's not doing so well in the middle of the floor that's been forgotten. This has a lot of little pieces of trash and things that have been broken. 